हेलो एवरीबॉडी अ वेरी वेरी गुड मॉर्निंग टू वन एंड ऑल माय नेम इज अंकित शर्मा एंड आई वेलकम ऑल ऑफ यू इन दिस एक्सट्रीमली इंपॉर्टेंट सेशन एट द वन एंड ओनली एग्जाम पर माय डियर स्टूडेंट्स एग्जाम पर इज द मोस्ट ट्रस्टेड ऑनलाइन एजुकेशन प्लेटफॉर्म अक्रॉस द कंट्री माय डियर स्टूडेंट्स द एजेंडा ऑफ टूडे सेशन इज टू डिस्कस the most expected question paper for ibps rrb office assistant okay ibps rrb office assistant prelim examination will be organized throughout the country on 7th 13th and 14th of august so on 7th 13th and 14th of august throughout the country the examination of ibps rrb office assistant would be conducted i know that many of you have applied for the same and would be appearing for the same So in this there are total forty questions. Okay, there are total how many questions? Forty four zero questions from this subject in the IBPS RRB office assistant as well as IBPS RRB officer scale one prelim exam. Forty questions from reasoning. Forty questions from quant. Total eighty questions. Total eighty questions. And the time allotted is composite time of forty five minutes. composite time of 45 minute you can choose which section to attempt first which to attempt later and you can also choose additionally how much time you want to allot on which particular section all right negative marking is also there fine and now today we will be discussing more than 40 questions for i know very well that 40 questions from reasoning are there so not only 40 we will go even further and i think we will be dis discussing close to 50 55 or uh, maybe uh, 50, uh, 60 questions i am not able to recall exactly but good number of questions we would be doing that is what i can guarantee and now with these words let us start let us begin my dear students have a look at the thought of the day the thought of the day is nothing is permanent yes dear students nothing is permanent so do not stress yourself too much because no matter how bad the situation is it will change for sure so how much bad the situation is do not worry it will change when we human beings are not permanent we all have come on this earth on one particular day and we will also depart from this earth on some day so if we ourselves are not permanent how can the problems of ours be permanent okay problems will come problems will go problem a would be replaced by problem b problem b would be replaced by problem c and so on but you have to be over there you have to remain over there with these words let us start the very first question time starts quickly everyone hurry up one minute to draw the diagram quickly everyone कोई Okay, now see, my dear students, what it is telling you. Let us draw the diagram. Point F is ten meter west of G. Suppose this is G. Suppose this is G. Okay, my dear students, please understand. Suppose this is G. Point F is ten meter west of G. This is G, and point F. Point F is ten meter west of G. And fifteen meter north of E. Okay, fifteen meter north of E. Point F is ten meter west of G and fifteen meter north of E. Now, my dear students, the next point. Point E is twenty meter east of D. Point E is twenty meter east of D. Okay, so this is point E, which is twenty meter east of D. Next, next. Now, my dear students, further. Point A, sorry, point D is ten meters south of C. Point D is ten meters south of C. Okay, this is C, and point D is ten meters south of C. 
Now point C is 15 meter east of B. Now see, point C is 15 meter east of B, but we don't have that much space. So let me make it in this yeah. manner. That point C is 15 meter east of B. This is B. Now let me draw one clear diagram. Let me draw one clear diagram, okay? Point F is 10 meter west of G. Suppose this is G. And point F is 10 meter west of G. And 15 meter north of E. And 15 meter north of E. Alright everybody. This is point number 1. That point F is 10 meter west of G. Point F is 10 meter west of G. And 15 meter north of E. After that. After that, point E is 20 meter east of D. Point E is 20 meter east of D. Okay. Point E is 20 meter east of D. Point D is 10 meter south of C. Point D is 10 meter south of C. Okay. Next, point C is 15 meter east of B. Point C is 15 meter east of B. And finally, point A is 12 meter north of B. Point O is 12 meter north of B. A. So basically, this is. 5 and this is 7. This is point A. Are you all getting this as the final diagram? Are you all getting this as the final diagram? Quickly tell me my dear students. Yes or no? And you can just verify also. Okay. You can verify also. Okay. Fine everyone. Point F is 10 meter west of G and 15 meter north of E. Point A is 12 meter north of B. Okay. Point D is 10 meter south of C. Point E is 20 meter east of D. Okay. Point C is 15 meter east of B. Point C is 15 meter east of B. Fine. This is the right diagram. This is the right diagram. Now, this is the diagram. And now, point C is in which direction with respect to F? Point C is in which direction with respect to F? It is southwest. It is southwest. Answer is option number A. Southwest. Which of the following points is not in north? Which of the following point is not in the north or northeast of B? Okay. See, my dear students, uh, which of the following point is not in the north or northeast of B? See, northeast, uh, F, let us talk about F. F is northeast. F is northeast. G is also northeast. A is north. But C is the one which is the right answer. C is east. C is east, not northeast, not north of B. So, A is north of B, F as well as G are northeast, but C is east. Alright, everybody, answer is option number D. Next, guys. Point E is in which direction with respect to A? Point E is in which direction with respect to A? With respect to A, it's southeast. With respect to A, it's southeast. I hope it is clear. Now, choose the word which is different from the others. Hurry up. Quickly. Quickly, up. now see what is happening over here. What is happening over here? See from T U V W X Y Z A B C D. Okay, and then from D, my dear students, what is going on? Have a look at the things. O P Q R B C D E Y Z A B. Okay, here also it is four only. So throughout plus four T U B W X after an O P Q R after a B C D E after X Y Z A B. Now here, my dear students, after a S T U B W F G H I J C D E F G. So here itself difference is there. Here itself difference is there. So the right answer is option number A itself. The right answer is option number A itself. Okay, moving ahead. Solve this. Hurry up. Quickly. 
Now this is a bit of vocabulary based question. Okay, now see, it is telling you how many meaningful English words or how many meaningful words it is telling you can be formed using the first, okay, the second, the third, fourth and fifth, okay, seventh and eighth. So now, my dear students, if we club them, I and R E D. I N R E T. So the only meaningful word that can be formed is diner, the one who is dining in. So when you go to a restaurant, okay, so when you sit and do that dining work, so then you are a diner, okay. And therefore, only one meaningful word can be formed, and therefore, the right answer is option number B, that is one. So this is the question which involves vocabulary, okay, everyone. Quickly, everyone. Quickly, everyone. I will be giving you one more minute after this, okay? So one more minute will be provided. Quickly. So the level of questions are very easy. So I expect that you all will be really, really quick. Quickly, see everybody, please like the session, please rate the session, please share the session. Okay, now listen to me very carefully. Now see my dear students, have a look at this. A certain number of people a certain number of people are sitting in a straight line facing north direction. Three people are sitting between U and T. Okay. So three people are sitting between U and T. U, one, two, and three T, or they can also change. Okay. More than three persons are sitting to the right of P. More than three persons are sitting to the right of P. Okay. So some people are sitting in a line, all of them are facing the north direction. So it is telling you three persons are sitting between U and T. More than three persons are sitting to the right of P. L sits fifth from an end. L sits fifth, obviously from an end only. Now five people are sitting between H and G. Five people, one, two, three, four, and five people are sitting between H and G. Three people are sitting between P and U. P, one, two, and three. Three people are sitting between P and U. Four people are sitting between P and L. P, one, two, three, and four. Four people are sitting between P and L. Now, two people are sitting between L and H. Two persons are sitting between L and H. And now, finally, now, finally, only three people are sitting to the right of G. Only three people are sitting to the right of G. Suppose this is the right end. And only three people to the right of G means one, two, and three. Okay? 
find only three people to the right of G means what? Only three people to the right of G means one, two and three. I hope it is clear. Now connect them. Five people between G and H. Okay. So one, two, three, four and five. Five people between G and H is done. Now my dear students, very important. Two people between H and L. Two people between H and L. Now one more case. H, one, two, three, four, five, G, one, two and three. So now it is telling you two people between H and L. So one and two L and one and two L. And now also L is fifth prominent. L is fifth prominent. So one, two, three, four and fifth is not possible. So one, two, three, four and fifth is possible. One, two, three, four and fifth is possible. L is fifth prominent. Now my dear students, it is also telling you four people between L and P. So one, two, three and four P. No, one, two, three and four. 1, 2, 3 and 4 P over here. 1, 2, 3 and 4. No, 1, 2, 3 and 4 P over here. Okay. Now, my dear students, uh, more than 3 people are sitting to the right of P. More than 3 people are sitting to the right of P. So, this is gone. Now, 3 people between P and U. So, 1, 2 and 3 U. Okay. 1, 2 and 3 U. No. 1, 2 and 3 U over here. Then, 3 people between U and T. Now, 1, 2 and 3 T not possible. 1, 2 and 3 T is possible. This is the right diagram. This is the right diagram, my dear students. Yes or no? Okay. Yes or no? Yes or no? Getting it or not? And now how many people? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 17. 17. Okay, everyone. 17 people are there. So this is certainly going to be one of the question. How many people are in the seating arrangement? 17. Okay. So, how many people are in the sitting arrangement? One option certainly will be 17 and you will mark that. Who is sitting to the right of P? So, there are many people to the right of P. Among them, one of them is G. Among them, one of them is G. Option number C. Now, who sits second to the left of H? Second to the left of H is U. Answer is option number A, that is U. How many people are sitting between T and P? Number of people between T and P? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So 7. And that's the right answer. Option number A, 7. Now find the correct statement, my dear students. The correct statement is T sits third from an end. No. Three people are sitting between H and L. 1, 2, and 3. No. P sits fifth from an end. P sits fifth from an end. No. L and U are immediate neighbors. Yes. And that's the right answer. Option number D. That's the right answer. Option number D. Okay. Next one. Now the questions of syllogism, questions of syllogism, here we go, please solve, please solve everyone, quickly. Thirty seconds is more than sufficient. Only a few mangoes or apples. Only a few mangoes or apples can be drawn in this manner. Only a few mangoes or apples can be drawn in this manner. Some apples or banana can be drawn in this manner. Or some apples or banana can also be drawn in this manner. All bananas or lychees or all bananas or lychees can be drawn in these manners. Now, my dear students, number one, no lychee is banana. No lychee is banana. Is, is that correct? See, this is lychee, guys. This is lychee. Okay. This is lychee. And now when the conclusion is telling you that no lychee is banana, it's definitely false. Okay, then some mangoes are bananas. Some mangoes are bananas may be true, as in this case, and may not be true. So overall, can't say. All lychees can never be apples. All lychees can never be apples. Is that the case? No, it's definitely false. It's definitely false. I will show you how. I will show you how. My dear students, I will show you, sorry, I will show you how. Uh, I can draw one case like this. Only a few mangoes are apples. Only a few mangoes are apples. Okay. Then some apples are bananas and all bananas are lychees. So in this case, all lychees will itself become apple. All lychees will itself become apple. So the right answer is option number E. None of them follows. Option E, none of them follows. Next. Solve this one.
क्विकली एवरी वन All blue are red. All blue are red. No red is yellow. All blue are red. No red is yellow. Only a few yellow or green. Only a few yellow or green can be drawn in this or in this manner. So all red can be green. Yes, only a few yellow or green can be drawn in also in this manner. Only a few yellow or green can also be drawn in this manner. So all red can be green is can't say. And anything which is can't say. Plus possibility is true. Now, no green is blue. No green is blue is again can't say. All yellow being green. All yellow being green is definitely false. Because only a few yellow or green means there is some part of yellow which is green and some which are not. So definitely false plus possibility is definitely false. Option number B, only one. Option number B, only one is correct. Next, solve this one. Quickly, everyone. Okay, now listen to me. All boxes are bottles. All the boxes are bottles. All the boxes are containers. Only a few containers are drum can be drawn in this manner or in this manner. Fine. Now see my dear students. Here we go. All bottles can never be drums. All bottles can never be drums is definitely false. I can draw drums in this manner also. Some containers can be boxes. Yes, some containers can be boxes is correct. Because as of now containers, some containers can be boxes. No, 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 no. Wrong, wrong, wrong. It is already given all boxes are containers. It is already given all boxes are containers. And now if it is already given that all boxes are containers. Okay. If it is already given that all boxes are containers, so some containers are boxes, is, uh, is itself true? Is itself true? And definitely true plus possibility will be false. And no container is a box. No container is a box is again false. Okay. So therefore, the right answer to the question is, okay, it is giving option A. Let me see. Option number A, only two follows. No, 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 no. It is wrong. It is wrong. See why I am I'm telling you it is wrong. I will let you know. Because many people have confusion over here. There are three types of conclusions. Definitely true, definitely false and can't say. There are three kind of conclusions. Now if possibility can be, maybe comes. So this becomes false and this becomes true. Alright everybody. So now over here. Now over here my dear students. Please understand this. So if I talk about this. It is telling all boxes are containers. The moment it says all boxes are containers. If all boxes are containers, then some boxes are containers. Some containers are also boxes. If some containers are boxes, then some containers can be is not a case then. It is a reality. So therefore, the right answer is none follows. It is wrong. The right answer is none of them follows. The right answer is none of them follows. Okay. So here I will repeat. The moment it said all boxes are containers. Due to all boxes being containers, some Box or containers is also definitely true. Some containers or box is also definitely true. So if it comes, some containers can be boxes, some containers may be boxes, some containers being boxes is a possibility. So along with definitely true thing which is already there, possibility will become false. And now my dear students, no container is box will also become false. Alright, so the right answer is option number anything means it's not available over here. None follows is the right answer. Next. Solve this one. Solve this one. Quickly everybody.
See, only a few purses or bags. Only a few purses or bags can be drawn in this manner. Or only a few purses or bags can be drawn in this manner. Now, no purse is a wallet. No purse is a wallet can be drawn in this manner. No purse is a wallet can be drawn in this manner. All wallets are sling bags. All wallets are sling bag. Okay. And now, my dear students, the conclusion. Number one, the conclusion. All bags can never be wallet. All bags can never be wallet. Yes, that part of bags which are purse will never be wallet. So this is true. Some sling bag being purse. Some sling bag being purse is can't say. And anything which is can't say plus possibility is true. Some sling bag are not purse. Yes, that part of sling bag which is wallet will not be purse. So all of them are correct. All of them are correct. Answer is option number D. Answer is option number D. Okay. Okay, solve this one. Solve this one. The forward backward question. Now see, for solving such kind of questions, first of all, you should write the place values of all the letters. Now how to check? Very important. From 19 in forward direction, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, no. From 19 in backward direction, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, no. From 1 in forward direction, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, yes. Okay, from 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, yes. The moment we got one pair, this is gone. Then 10, 11, no, from uh, 1 in backward direction, we cannot check. From 20 in forward direction, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, no. From 20 in backward direction, 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, no. From 9 in forward, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, no. From 9 in backward, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, no. From 19 in forward, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, no. From 19 in backward, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, no. From 6 in forward, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, no. From 6 in backward, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, no. From 1 in forward, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, no. From 1 in backward direction, we cannot check. From 3 in forward, 4, 5, 6, 7, no. From 3 in backward, 2, 1, no. From 20 in forward, 21, 22, 23, no. From backward, 20, 19, 18, 17, no, from 9, 10, 11, 8, 7, no, and this is ON. So this is ON. So this is in forward direction, this is in backward direction. Okay, so there are two pairs. There are two pairs. Answer is option number C, that is two pairs. One is AI, another is ON. AI and ON. Next. Solve this one. Solve this one, everybody. Hurry up.
Okay, now listen to me. Now listen to me. Okay, one more minute. One more minute after that. One more minute and after that I would be discussing. Hurry up. Hurry up. Now see, 10 people, okay, are sitting around a circular table facing outside the center. Now, it is telling you B sits second to the right of it. B sits second to the right of F. F who is not sitting near to J. F who is not sitting near to J. E and Q are immediate neighbors. E and Q are immediate neighbors. Next, one person sits between W and B. One person sits between W and B. Next, M sits fourth to the right of Y. M sits fourth to the right of Y. Next, Four people sit between X and D. E. Four people sit between X and E. Okay, everyone. Next. Two people sit between W and Q. Two people sit between W and Q. Q who is not an immediate neighbor of Y. Q who is not an immediate neighbor of Y. Three people sit between V and M. Three people sit between V and M. Okay. Now, see, my dear students. What I would be doing, I have written all the information over here. All the data that was provided to me over here in rough form is over here. So now how to approach the question now? See, the best way is, let us begin with this. Let me keep Y over here. Y is third right. 1, 2 and third right is M. Fine. Y is 1, 2 and third right is M. Now after that, my dear students, it is also telling you three people between M and V. 1, 2 and 3. We can be here. 1, 2 and 3. We can be here. Alright everybody. Now my dear students. Another very important point. Another very important point. It is also telling you that interconnecting point. One person between W and V. Okay. We have Y, we have M, we have V. What else we can do? Sorry. See this is a mistake. Y is fourth right is M. Y is fourth right is M. My dear students, Y is fourth right is M. M sits fourth to the right of Y. Na? So let us do a bit of correction. Let us do a bit of correction. Okay. It is telling you that Y is fourth right. One, two, three, and fourth right is M. Y is one, two, three, and fourth right is M. And then, my dear students, three people between M and V. One, two, and three, we cannot be here. One, two, and three, we will be here. Okay. One, two, and three, we will be here. All right. So now the things are better. Now, my dear students, one person between V and W. One person between V and W, we have done. Now, what else? Three people between W, uh, two people between W and Q. So, one and two Q cannot be here. One and two Q will be here. One and two Q cannot be here. One and two Q will be here. Why? Because Q is not a neighbor of Y. Q is not a neighbor of Y. Now, my dear students, the next thing. Now, the next thing. It is also telling you that E and Q are neighbors. E and Q are neighbors. So, E and Q are neighbors can only be in this manner. Next. Four people between E and X. 1, 2, 3 and 4, X. 1, 2, 3 and 4, X. Okay, 1, 2, 3 and 4, X. 1, 2, 3 and 4, X. Now, F second right is B. F second right is B. Okay. And then, my dear students, who is left out? F and J are not the neighbors. Fine. So, this is the final diagram. Yes or no? This is the final diagram. Yes or no? M, J, W, X, V, F. M, J, W, X, V, F. Y, B, E, Q, M. Okay. Y, B, E, Q, M. Okay. Fine, everybody. Fine. Y, B, E, Q, M. Yes or no? Fine. 
Yes or no, guys? See, basically, Y is nowhere there. W and V. Okay, fine. Are you all getting this or not? Are you all getting this or not? Quickly tell me. See what is done. Start with B. Start with B. From B in the right of B. Okay. From the right of B, it is B E Q M J W. Okay. B E Q M J W. Okay, fine, everybody. B E Q M J W. And from W, it's X V F V. From W, it's X V F V. Okay, everyone. Fine. Let me read this. V. See, Y is. Uh, let me see. Fine. My dear students, here it is telling you in a very clear line that X and Y, okay, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine everybody, moving ahead, okay, moving ahead, have a look at this, okay, how many people are sitting between F and J when counted from the right of J, when counted from the right of J, 1, 2 and 3 people are sitting between F and J, answer is option number B, that is 3. Who sits second to the right of B? Second to the right of B is Q. Okay, so right answer is option number C, that is Q. Who sits immediate right of X? Immediate right of X is V. So the right answer is option number D, that is V. Who sits opposite to F? Opposite to F is M. So that's the right answer, option number A, that is M. Find the odd one out. Odd one out. J and B. J's third right is V. Y and X. Y's third left is X. E and F. E is third left is F. Q and M. Q's immediate left is M. Immediate right is M. Q's immediate right is M. J's third left is E. So everywhere third to the right or third to the left is going on except option D where Q and M are the neighbors. Alright, next. The next one. Okay, 20 20 second question. 20 20 second question. Hurry up. Quickly, everyone. A is less than equal to B less than C equals to D greater than E and A is less than F. A is less than F. So F is greater than D. Opposite symbols between F and D can't say. Between A and E, between A and D opposite symbols can't say. And therefore the right answer to the question is option D. Neither one nor two follows. Okay, next one. Solve this one. Very easy. See, without pen and paper you can do this. U is less than P. P is greater than equal to Q. U is less than P, P is greater than equal to Q. So there are opposite symbols between them. So it is can't say. So if you want to club it also, you can do it in this manner. Okay. See, U is less than P, P is greater than equal to Q, Q is greater than R, R is equal to S, S is less than T. Now between Q and U, there are opposite symbols. So can't say. Between R and U, again opposite symbols. So can't say. No? So the right answer to the question is option number D. Neither one nor two is true. Neither one nor two is true. Next, my dear students, solve this one. Hurry up. For E being greater than B, for E being greater than B, this symbol is important and also it will ensure that F is greater than B. So the only option which should be over here is option number B. It is option number B. Okay. Next. Solve this one. Solve this one guys. So five people, my dear students, five people have different heights. So if five people have different heights. The tallest one is at the top. The shortest one is at the bottom. T is taller than R. It is telling you T is 
taller than R. S is taller than T but shorter than U. Only two people are taller than me. Only two people, one and two are taller than V. And also my dear students, now just use this. How will you use this? U, S, T and R. Okay. And see, V is taller than T. The last line is also fine. So, U, S, V, T, R. Which of the following is the tallest? Option number C, that is U. Option number C, that is U, is the tallest. U, S, V, T, R. All right. Now, if the height of T is 156, if the height of T is 156, what could be the height of R? Anything less than 156? Anything less than 156? It's option number C, 148. Option number C, 148. Next. Now, before I move ahead, I will request you very sincerely that see we have started these classes for you. Okay, it is for your benefit, for your upliftment, for your improvement, for your betterment. So please come and join these live classes which are totally in English at 9 a.m. Tausif sir, at 10 a.m. Sanjay Tomar sir, at 11 and 2 p.m. me and the GA Sashank sir at 12 noon and 4 p.m. Okay, everybody, next. Solve this one. Solve this one. Clear One more minute, one more minute. Quickly everyone. Now see, six people, my dear students, six people, A to F, go to different countries. The countries are given and they are going on six different days. So at least we know the chronology of days. That is fixed. It is not fixed that which person is going first, which person is going next. It is not fixed that which place is being visited first, which place is being visited later. But the day's chronology is fixed. So we have written that. Okay. Now after that, my dear students, six people here to have go to countries. Okay. Now, the one who goes to Nepal goes after Tuesday. The one who goes to Nepal goes after Tuesday. So Nepal cannot stay over here. Next. Next, my dear students. C goes before E. C goes before E. Fine. Three people go between A and the one who goes to Iran. Three people go between A and the one who goes to Iran. Next. Only one person goes between B and D. Only one person goes between B and D. Next. Neither C nor B goes to Brazil. Neither C nor B goes to Brazil. Okay. Next. F goes to Croatia, but not on Tuesday. F goes to Croatia. Okay. But not on Tuesday. Next. The one who goes immediately before B goes to Iran. The one who goes immediately before B goes to Iran. The one who goes immediately before B goes to Iran, but not on Monday. But not on Monday. So, Iran is not on Monday. Finally. D goes to Gabon on Thursday. 
T goes to Gabon on Thursday. All right, everyone. Now, my dear students, very, very important. One person between D and B and just before B is Iran. One person between D and B and just before B is Iran is not possible. So, therefore, one person between D and B and just before B is Iran will be in this manner. All right. Now, my dear students, this is fine. Now, three people between Iran and A. One, two, and three. A will be over here. Gone. Now, my dear students, very important. Now, it is telling you in a very clear way. F Croatia. F Croatia. F Croatia can only be over here because here also F is not allowed. So F Croatia will be over here. Now, somewhere after C is E. Somewhere after C is E. Nepal cannot be over here. Nepal will be over here. Okay, next. My dear students, G and, uh, C and B do not go to Brazil. C and B do not go to Brazil. So, Brazil will be over here. So, which country is left out? I think only and only now Austria is left out. And that will be occupying this spot. All right, everyone. This is the final diagram. All right. So A Brazil. Okay. A Brazil. C Austria. F Croatia. D Gabon. E Iran. B Nepal. All right, everyone. Fine. Yes or no? Moving ahead. Moving ahead. Who goes to Austria? It's undoubtedly C option number B. E goes to which of the following countries? Nepal. E goes to Nepal. Okay. Fine. E goes to which of the following country? E. E goes to Nepal. Okay. Option number B. Fine. So here it is telling E goes to which country? A, C, F, D, E, B. A, C, F, D, E, B. And now E goes to which country? Iran, obviously. E goes to which country? Iran. Fine. Next. The one who goes to Brazil goes on which of the following days? The one who goes to Brazil goes on the day Monday. So that's the right answer. Option number B, Monday. Find the odd one out. Find the odd one out. B and D. B and D. Just before B is E. C and F. Just after C is F. F and D. Gap of F and then E. E and D. Just before E is D. A and C. Just after A is C. So everywhere they are immediate. Just immediate after. Just immediately before. Except F and E. Where there is a gap of one day. Okay. So option C is the right answer. Now find the correct statement. C goes on Wednesday. C goes on Wednesday. No. B goes to Nepal. Yes. D goes on Thursday. Find the correct statement. C goes on Wednesday. No. B goes to Nepal. Yes. D does not go on Thursday. D is going on Thursday. D is going on Thursday. So D does not go on Thursday is wrong. A goes to Austria. Wrong. So obviously the right one is option number B. The right one is option number B. Okay. Next one. Solve this one. Hurry up. Quickly. Next one minute. Quickly everyone.
I'm giving you one more minute. Please try. Please try. A good question this is. Quickly. Quickly everyone. One more minute. One more minute guys, hurry up. Okay, now listen to me very carefully. Now listen to me very carefully, okay? So what is going on over here? It is telling you that... Have a look at this. So what it is telling you? Seven people. Seven people whose names are given, they are living in a seven-story building. Seven people whose names are given, they are living in a seven-story building. Each one of them works in seven different companies. The name of the companies have been given. Now, S does not work in fiat. Okay, S does not give a uh, work in fiat. Okay, S does not work in fiat. Three people live between the one who work in Mercedes and the one who works in Toyota. Three people live between the one who work in Mercedes and the one who work in Toyota. Next, next, N lives immediately below Q. N lives immediately below Q. Next, next thing. Two people live between O and the one who works in Suzuki. Two people live between O and the one who works in Suzuki. Next. Two people live between R and S who does not live on the ground floor. Two people live between R and S and so does not live on the ground floor. Okay. Next. Next thing. And does not work in Toyota. And does not work in Toyota. Okay, fine. It has been categorically mentioned that N does not work in Toyota. Next, P does not live on the ground floor. P also does not live in the ground floor. Fine, fine. M lives on an even numbered floor but does not work in Suzuki. M works on an even numbered floor but does not work in Suzuki. Next, next guys. Three people live between S and O who works in BMW. Three people work between S and O 
or who works in BMW. Okay, fine. R works in Ford. My dear students, R works in Ford. Okay. R works in Ford. Okay. And lives on an even numbered floor below the fifth floor. Even number floor below the fifth floor is fourth floor. Or it can be the second floor, isn't it? So now at the end, uh, information was given which could be directly used because all the other informations were indirect. We used to write outside. But when it said R works in Ford and lives on an even numbered floor below the fifth floor, it could be fourth floor or second floor. All right, everyone. Fine. Now moving ahead. Now moving ahead, my dear students. Have a look at this. Now let us find the interconnecting point. Two people between R and S. So 1 and 2, S will be here. Okay, see my dear students, very important. Two people between R and S. Okay, so two people between R and S. So 1 and 2, S cannot be here. No? So 1 and 2, S will be here. And similarly, two people between R and S, 1 and 2, S can also be here. Fine, this is done. Now three people between S and O. 1, 2 and 3 over here, O, B, M, W. Three people between S and O. 1, 2 and 3 over here, O, B, M, W. M W. Now, my dear students, two persons between O and Suzuki. So, two persons between O and Suzuki, one and two, Suzuki is over here. Two persons between O and Suzuki, one and two, Suzuki over here. Alright, everybody. Now, my dear students, very, very important. Now, it is telling you Mercedes and Toyota, okay? And just after Q is Zen. Just after Q is Zen, okay? Now, just tell me, my dear students, M on an even number but not Suzuki. M on an even number but not Suzuki will be here. M on an even number but not Suzuki will be over here. This is also done. Now just after Q is N. Just after Q is N. Okay. Just after Q is N. Alright. And now who is left out? M N O P Q R S. M N O P Q R S. So M N O P is left out. P is left out. Okay. M N O P Q R S. Now, the next and see, but P cannot be here. P cannot be here. So this is gone. This case is eliminated. Now Mercedes and Toyota, but T does not. Uh, N does not like Toyota. Okay. So Toyota can be over here. Toyota can be over here. And one, two, and three Mercedes can be here because why? Because N does not like Toyota. Now S does not like Fiat. So, Fiat will be over here. So, what is left out? I think Hyundai is left out, no? Hyundai. And therefore, it's the right one. Answer is this. This is the final diagram. Getting it or not? Getting it or not, my dear students? Quickly tell me. Fiat Toyota, M Fiat, S Hyundai, Q Suzuki, and Mercedes, R Ford, O BMW. All right, everyone? Fine? Yes or no? Next. Next. Okay. Now, once we have drawn, our task is easy. Once we have drawn, our task is easy. Okay. So, now let us start. Okay, everybody. So, now who lives on the top floor? On top floor is P. And therefore, the right answer is option number A. That is P. How many of them live above N? Number of people living above N are 1, 2, 3 and 4. So, therefore, the right answer is option A, 4. Who works in Mercedes? It's N. Option number D, that is, uh, that is N. Who works in Mercedes? All right. Option number D, that is N, works in Mercedes. S works in which of the following companies? Hyundai. S works in Hyundai. And therefore, answer is option number D. Now, find the odd one out. O lives on an odd numbered floor. P lives on an odd numbered floor. R lives on an even numbered floor. S lives on an odd numbered floor. N lives on an odd numbered floor. So, all of them live on an odd number floor except option number C, that is R. Okay, next. Solve this. Your time starts. Three minutes. Three minutes again will be provided.
quickly. So I'm giving you adequate time and you are supposed to solve the question in that much duration. The last minute, the third minute, quickly. Quickly everyone. <laughs> okay, now see my dear students. Now, have a look at this. Seven people are sitting in a straight line. Seven people are sitting in a straight line. Okay, but not necessarily in the same order. Some of them are facing south and some of them are facing north. Okay, now let us start. So, seven people sitting in a straight line. Some facing north, some facing south. Keep in mind. Let us start over here. Immediate neighbors of N are facing opposite direction. Immediate neighbors of N face opposite direction to that of H. Okay. Immediate neighbors of N are facing the opposite directions that of H. Immediate neighbors of N are facing opposite direction to that H is facing. Immediate neighbors of H are facing opposite directions. Immediate neighbors of H are facing opposite directions. Okay. Z sits to the immediate left of S. Z sits to the immediate left of S sits third to the right of N. S sits one, two, and third to the right of N. And both are facing opposite direction. Both are facing opposite direction. Okay. S sits third to the right of N. And both are facing opposite direction. Okay. Now see my dear students. Very, very important. S sits second to the right of M. S sits second to the right of M. Okay. Next. E is not sitting to the right of H. E is not sitting to the right of H means E is sitting to the left of H. E is not sitting to the right of H means E is sitting to the left of H. E is not sitting at the end and one person is sitting between E and G. E is not sitting at the end, okay. E is not sitting at the end and one person is sitting between E and G. Next, next. S is not facing north. S is north face, not facing north means S is facing south. S is not facing north means S is facing south and S and N face in opposite direction means it is confirmed on is facing north. Okay. Three people are sitting between N and H. Three people are sitting between N and H. Okay. And M sits in the middle of the line. M sits in the middle of the line. So M will be over here. Now, M sits in the middle of the line. Total seven people are there. So middle of the line is over here. But now M could be facing north. M could be facing south. That is not clear. Okay, and M's second right is H. M's second right is H can be here or M's second right H can be over here. Now, my dear students, three people between H and N. So, one, two, and three. N can be here. One, two, and three. N can be here. Now, N is facing north. N is facing north. Okay, N is facing north. And N's third right is S. One, two, and third right is S. In this case, N's third right is S is not possible my dear students now see very important very important it is also telling you that H. okay now just tell me one person between e and g e is not at the end one person between e and g e is uh, not at the end so this is the one this is the one now who is left out who is left out z is left out z is left out and s is left is said see s sits Z sits to the left of S. Z sits to the left of S. Immediate left is not mentioned. It can be somewhere to the left also. So Z sits to the left of S. Now my dear students, even this is done. Now the next thing. Neighbors of H face opposite directions. Neighbors of H face opposite directions. Facing south, so facing north. Now my dear students, H left is E. H left is E. So this is fine. So now if H is facing north, and both the neighbors are facing south. 
and both the neighbors are facing south because and both neighbors were facing opposite to h and now this is the final structure okay everybody this is the final structure g south and north e south g south and north e south m north s south m north s south h and z north h and z north all right everyone all right fine everybody getting it okay moving ahead moving ahead guys who sits to the left of us who sits to the left of us left of us r h and z r h and z answer is option number a both h and z how many of them are sitting between n and z how many of them are sitting between n and z four four people four people are sitting between n and z option number b okay now who is sitting third to the right of him third to the right of him is one two and three z answer is option number b that is z all right everyone find the odd one out n is facing north n is facing north m is facing north s is facing south z is facing north h is facing north so i hope all of you are getting what is the odd one out option number c that is s how many of them are facing the south direction one two and three of them are facing the south direction option number d that is three next one solve this one 41st is very easy 41st is very easy guys quickly hurry up select the word which cannot be formed select the word which cannot be formed okay demonism demonism d e m o n i s m yes it can be formed remind us uh, sorry reminds r e m i n d s yes moderns m o d e r n s m o d e r n s yes immersion immersion cannot be formed minor can be formed m i n o r e d s yes. but immersion cannot be formed because two i is over here immersion cannot be formed because two i is over here one i over here one over here but here only one i is there and therefore option number d therefore option number d and now solve this one i am giving you one minute to draw the diagram i am giving you one minute to draw the diagram quickly draw this one more minute i am giving you just draw the diagram keep ready the same diagram okay hurry up Okay, now see. I would be using certain sign conventions, which you can see. I will be denoting male person by plus sign, female by minus sign, couple by equal to sign. 
Now never start with these lines like Z is mother-in-law of and U is daughter-in-law of T. Okay. T U has only one child. Okay. Start with this. Start with this. Q is the father of R. Q is the father of R. R who is the brother-in-law of N. R who is the brother-in-law of N. R who is the brother-in-law of N. Okay. R is the brother-in-law of N. Fine. So Q is the father of R, R who is the brother-in-law of N, N who is the son of T, N who is the son of T. Okay, so this is R sister or N's wife also you can say. Okay, my dear students, it is also telling you L and M are grandsons of T. L and M are grandsons of T. Fine. Let me read it again. Okay, Z is the mother-in-law of N. Z is the mother-in-law of N. U is the daughter-in-law of T. U is the daughter-in-law of T. So now everything is fine. See, Z is the mother-in-law of N. U is the daughter-in-law of T. T who has only one child. Now N has already come. Q is the father of R. R who is the brother-in-law of N. N who is the son of T. Z has only two children. Z has only two children, one son and one daughter. L and M are grandsons of T. So this indeed is the final diagram. This indeed is the final diagram. How is T related to M? Now how is T related to M? It's not clear. T can be grandfather or grandmother. T can be grandfather or grandmother. Okay. Answer is option number D. Answer is option number D. Next. Now because T's gender is not clear. T's gender is not clear. Now how is N related to Q? How is N related to Q? N is the uh, son-in-law of Q. N is the son-in-law of Q. Answer is option number B. N is the son-in-law of Q. Now the next one. These kind of questions, I hope you are very much comfortable. In these kind of questions, I hope you are very much comfortable. Okay. So now start this one. Start this one. Okay. Verbally, you can do these kind of questions. Hurry up. Verbally, you can do these kind of questions. Okay, now see, what is the code for, what is the code for need? Now see, need word is over here. Mission is at more places, so its code will be at more places. Paint is at more places, so its code will be at more places. Paper is at more places, so its code will be at more places. But need is only over here. So its code will be only over here. See, SC is at more than one place. TC is at more than one place. JC is at more than one place, but LC is only over here. So therefore, 44 answer is option number D, LC. 44 answer is option number D, that is LC. All right, next. What is the code for paint? What is the code for paint? Okay, so mission paint need paper. Mission paint. Okay, so paint, paint and paint. What is common in all of them? JC, no. TC, 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 no. SC, 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 yes. SC, SC, SC. And therefore, the paint word stands the for the code SC. Option number D, SC. I hope it is very clear. What is the code for paper? Guys, what is the code for paper? Again, it's very simple. Paper word is only over here and here. Nowhere else. Paint is SC. Fine. But apart from that, what is common? TC. 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 So that means the code for paper is TC. Option number B. Fine. Getting it. What could be the code for waste sample safety? Waste sample safety. Quickly. See. My dear students, waste word is over here, over here, okay? And now over here, what is common? JC no, SC no, 
and oh no but or is common so waste word the code is or so wherever or is not there it will be eliminated see you can see or is over here then sample now if i talk about the word sample okay and then safety also so safety word also we have to search into okay okay let us move ahead see first of all if you want to talk about the word sample mission is at more than one place so its code will be at more than one place paint is at more than one place its code will be at more than one place sample is only over here so its code will be nowhere else so sample code is no sample code is no so no is not over here no is here no is here now let us talk of the word safety safety word is only over here paint is at more places okay paper is at more places but safety is only over here so its code will be also only over here so i think it's sc is at more than one place tc is at more than one place ta ta guys ta and therefore the answer is option number c ta is over here and see order is not important in such kind of questions order can be anything order can be anything okay next which of the following is coded as vu which of the following is coded as vu quickly everyone which of the following is coded as vu so or is it uh, is at more than one place are we okay 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 now see this is the problem or is at more than one place but vu and rv is nowhere else vu is also nowhere else rv is nowhere else so its code will be also nowhere else so see my dear students waste is at more places no sell warm okay now see this is the point waste is at more places warm and sell warm and sell there is a doubt between warm and sell okay warm and sell because waste is at more places so its code will be also over here okay mission is not here paint is not here sample is not here but waste is here so here or uh, or is there so for waste the code is or for waste the code is or okay nowhere else or is there so or stands for waste but others there is a doubt vu and rv if for warm it is vu if for warm it is vu for sell it is rv or vice versa cannot be determined next solve this one needle work needle work now see forward backward pairs we have to find out okay forward backward pairs so from 14 forward 15 16 17 18 19 20 21 22 23 now from 14 backward 13 12 11 10 9 8 7 6 7 no from 5 and forward 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 from 5 and backward 4 3 2 1 no from 5 and forward 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 you know from 5 and backward yes e and d one pair obviously backward direction 5 and 4 3 2 1 you know from 4 and forward 5 6 7 8 9 10 you know from 4 3 2 1 you know from 12 13 14 15 yes 13 14 15 lo so obviously this cannot be the right answer then 16 17 you no know, 11 10 9 8 7 you no know, 5 6 7 8 9 okay and there is only there are only two pairs there are only two pairs guys see one in forward direction l and o another in backward direction and what is in backward direction it is e and d it is e and d okay everyone fine so there are only two pairs next one solve this one hurry up
quickly. Hurry up. Okay, see, in a vertical stack of boxes, vertical stack of boxes means one box is above the other. What is a stack in which one box is arranged over the other? So in a vertical stack of boxes, my dear students, in a vertical stack of boxes, box P is five positions below box Q. This is box Q, one position below, two position below, three position below, four position below and five position below. Okay, everyone, so in a vertical stack of boxes, Box P is 5 positions below Q. Box P is 1 position below, 2 position below, 3 position below, 4 position below and 5 position below. I hope it is very clear. Next. Next my dear students. So in a vertical stack of boxes, box P is 5 positions below box Q. Q which is 15th from the top. Q which is 15th from the top. If Q which is 15th from the top, there are 14 boxes over here. There are 14 boxes over here, then only it is 15th from the top. Box R which is 10th from the bottom is 3 positions above P. 1 position above, 2 position above, 3 position above. So this is R. So box R which is 10th from the bottom. So if this is 10th, 9th, 8th, 7th. So here will be 6 boxes. So if here 6 boxes are there only then 7, 8, 9 and 10. So box R which is 10th from the bottom is 3 positions above P. 1 position above, 3 position above and 3 uh, third position above. 1 position above. 2 position above and 3 position above. Alright everyone. Next. Now have a look at this. Now how many boxes are there in this stack? 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20 and 26. 26. Okay everyone. Right answer is option number C that is 26. Okay. 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19 and 20. It's 26. Getting it everybody? Fine. And now this will be your home exercise. See, I will again tell you how to approach these kind of questions. These are very simple. It is telling you in a vertical stack of boxes, box P is 5 positions below box Q. Suppose this is box Q. Okay. And 1 box below, 2 box below, 3 box below, 4 box below and this is 5th. So, this is Q. 1 box below, 2 box below, 3 box below, 4 box below and 5 box below. So, I hope this is very clear. So, in a vertical stack of boxes, Box P is 5 positions below box Q, Q which is 15 from the top. If Q is 15 from the top, 14 boxes are above that. 14 boxes are above that only then this can be 15 from the top. Alright everyone. Next. Next. If box R which is 10th from the bottom is 3 positions above P. 1 position above, 2 position above, 3 position above. And this is 10th from the bottom. 10th, 9th, 8th, 7th, 6th over here. So this is 6, 7, 8, 9 and 10. So now how many boxes are there in the stack? 14. 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20 and 6, 26. So answer is option C, 26. And now, my dear students, the homework, your homework is going to be this. You will be solving this and providing the answer under the comment box. I should repeat, you would be solving this and providing the answer under the comment box. Alright, everyone. You would be solving this and providing the answer under the comment box. And how you will provide the answer? Only the sub-questions in this format or in this format in this format that's it okay and what are the sub questions this is the first sub question this is the very first sub question guys yes or no yes or no yes or no okay and now this is the second sub question the body of the question the body of the question the first sub question and and the last sub question i hope all of you have clicked the pictures I hope all of you have clicked the pictures and with these words, we come to an end of the session. I will again request you, my dear students, that we have started this English medium vertical for students like you. You know, the founder, okay, our respectable, the founder, Vivek sir, 
has a dream that we should reach every family of this country, whether it is in North, South, Western, Eastern, North, Eastern, Central, India, anywhere. So why we started this English medium vertical? Because we are already very good in the Hindi builds. But we also wanted to touch the heart and mind and life of those people who are in the South, in the Northeast, the coastal areas who are more comfortable in English. So that is why we launched this. Okay. So now, please come and join us in this mission. Every day morning, Tawseef sir would be taking classes in English, 9 a.m. Then Sanjay Tomar sir would be taking classes in Quan, 10 a.m. I would be taking classes in Reasoning at 11 a.m. and 2 p.m. Then Sasang sir would be taking classes of G at 12 noon and 4 p.m. All right, everybody. And with these words, we come to an end of the session. I will again tell you that the only person in the world who is standing between you and your success is you. It is you. Indeed, it is you guys. And yes, my dear students, the form of IBPS PO is already out. Kindly apply for the same. Thank you. Have a great day ahead. Thank you so much. Take care.